Also happening new right now at 430, revolutionary cancer research happening in Arlington, specifically UTA Bioengineering Department. The medical community is intrigued with the breakthrough of Lipping Tang. Fascinating research happening as we speak here in North Texas could one day provide some new treatment options for cancer patients and help detect cancer earlier. CBS 11's Robbie Owens on the story over at the campus, UT Arlington, to explain more about what we know right now. Robbie? Well, Doug, cancer cells are especially destructive when they scatter throughout the body, much like these washers here. But researchers here at UT Arlington are building synthetic lymph nodes that would, well, act like this magnet, and they would pull those cancer cells into one space so they would be easier to detect and easier to destroy. 200,000 American men every year. That's according to the CDC. The disease is typically diagnosed with the blood test and biopsy. It's not a benign procedure by any means, but it's still worth it to know um, that you have, uh, have or don't have cancer. But new options for treatment and early detection could be on the horizon. This is a kind of totally change of direction and turn out to be pretty powerful, pretty useful. Dr. Li Ping Tong is the interim chair of UTA's bioengineering department. After spending more than a decade working to manufacture human tissue, Dr. Tong discovered that man-made lymph nodes can act as traps for cancer cells. You can get those bad cells in one small tiny place and you can kill them. The discovery could also make treatments more effective. It can also help the doctor to target their drug or radiation in one tiny place of the body, so that will reduce the whole body toxicity or damage. The humble researcher, Dr. Tong, calls his discovery new rather than groundbreaking, exciting rather than revolutionary. But the goal is for patients to one day call it hope. Now, Dr. Tong has already received more than a half million dollars in grants to continue his research, the latest from the U.S. Army. Still, he says he's several years away before that research will be ready for clinical trials. Live on the campus of UT Arlington, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.